I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your go-to place to pick up gift cards, phone refills, and pay your bills with Bitcoin, both on-chain and via the Lightning Network. Check them out now at bitrefill.com and earn sats back as you shop. Bitrefill.com. Like, do you think Bitcoin helps change that narrative and that that education that people have, or, or lack of education around energy? Yeah, I think it definitely did, does. I mean, I know it happened to me. Like after I became a Bitcoin miner, probably 18 months later, every single substation I see, you know, just gets me excited. I'm following substations on Google Maps and drawing the lines out and everything else. Uh, something I never even looked at before suddenly became like a source of pure beauty to me. Uh, I, I think probably the most key thing is that people just don't even know what the definition, like the difference is between energy and electricity, which is a really shocking thing. I mean, they just think that this energy, which is everywhere all around us and all these different magical forms can just be flipped on with a, you know, a light switch or something like that. They don't realize all the work and all the ingenuity that needs to happen into harnessing energy and converting into a form that's easy and useful for humans to use and be productive doing things, right? And the ability to be able to do that whenever you want, you know, in like kind of any scale that you want, especially on a really small kind of home level or small business level is, is incredible. Um, it's something that we've never really had before. In the, in the past, you would have to go out, chop your own wood. You'd have to burn that wood. You know, you'd have to do all this different stuff. You'd have to build your own water mill or windmill or something to grind the flour. And like if the wind's not blowing, your whole business is shut down. Like people have no idea, you know, the difference between energy and electricity. I think when you start getting into Bitcoin, you start really going down that rabbit hole. on like, what is energy? What is electricity? What are the sources for it? You know, how can it be efficiently captured? What are the cost effective ways to get that electricity? What are the not cost effective ways to get electricity? Why is it super expensive in this part of the world and really cheap in this part of the world? And you start doing a deep dive onto the, you know, the engineering behind it, uh, the distribution, the transmission, the economics behind it. And it just becomes a fascinating world. And it's really easy, I think, to just say, hey, we should use less of it. Um, it's kind of a scapegoat to just learning about the actual technology and the actual engineering that's taking place. So I, I think that's, you know, when I speak with people who are experts in energy, they love Bitcoin, they love mining, they see its applications. When I hear people who don't like Bitcoin mining, I guarantee you they cannot tell me the difference between energy and electricity.